Hi guys, my name is Marcel and today you're gonna learn how to draw like a sir. More specifically, you're gonna learn how to sketch like a sir. Today's video is all about sketching. Sketching and drawing with a plain old pencil is something that I personally enjoy the most when it comes to art. Yes, even more than watercolor or painting on my tablet. So why not making a whole video on the topic? Don't worry, this video is gonna be beginner friendly as well, I'd like to think everyone can still learn a thing or two no matter what skill level you are. But please be aware this is not going to be a video on how to draw a human or something, I've already covered that, you can check that out on my channel right now. So with all of that out of the way, we can go right ahead and start with the video about sketching. Let's go! Let's start with the material you'll be needing when it comes to sketching. Yes, I know, pencil and eraser are important, but beginners are always way too focused on just that. What kind of pencil do I need exactly? And what brand is the best? I think people are way too focused on brands and apparent quality of their material. I mean, just look at this guy. What kind of pen is he using to draw? Is that even a pen? How good can this art be with this kind of- Oh, oh right, that's Yusuke Murata illustrator of One Punch Man. This guy, this guy uses a pen nib on a stick that looks like it was built by a preschooler and he's not even bothered by it in the slightest. Cause it's not about your art supplies, it's about the artist that uses them. And the same goes for pencils as well. Don't be stressed out if you've got no idea what kind of brand you're looking for or if you prefer a mechanical or a traditional pencil. Don't worry about that, all of them work out fine but Despite that, I still think you should know a thing or two about pencil hardness. It's all a matter of personal preference, but I personally like to use soft pencils a lot. Uh, don't worry, finding a soft pencil is easy when you know how to spot it. For example, H stands for hard and B stands for... B soft. I'd advise you go not any softer than B because softer pencil strokes are harder to erase. Don't sweat it, all you gotta know is B pencils are soft and make very dark strokes that are harder to erase. And H pencils are very light, easy to erase, but on the other hand they scratch up your paper, so you don't want to get pencils that are too hard as well. Now was that too boring up until now, because I was thinking about translating my German pencil guide video, but I don't know if a whole video about that would be too boring. I'll let you decide about the next topic down in the comments. Now some artists sketch without an eraser, and that's cool and all, but I'm using one, and there's no need to be ashamed if you do. At least that's my opinion. But that's not all, since many many years now I'm using an eraser pen as well. You might have guessed it, this one's pretty useful when it comes to details like erasing eyes for example. And if you want to have a list with all my art supplies, I've linked them all on my homepage, I took the time out of my day to translate the list just for you. But what about artists that sketch with colored pencils, I hear you say. Some artists sketch with a blue or a red pencil and lots of people wonder why that is. And I'm here to tell ya, this actually does make sense. Now let's make a completely fictitious example. Let's say your story writer writes a scenario in which you need to draw a bowl of noodles. But while inking said sketch of your drawing, you're realizing you have no clue what noodle goes where anymore and you're scared to ink somewhere you're not supposed to because you don't have any idea what noodle goes where. Purely fictitious example, of course. So yeah, using a colored pencil when you draw many details or complicated clothing may help you a lot when it gets chaotic. Maybe you're also wondering about the kind of paper you should draw on and that's a valid question as well. If you happen to follow me on social media, you might know that my favorite thing to draw on is cheap recycling paper. I know that sounds really weird, but I swear this is the most helpful tip I can think of. It made me improve incredibly fast. So why don't I just use the expensive paper I have laying around anyway? Or why don't I at least use white office paper? Why does it have to be cheap throwaway recycling paper? Ladies and gentlemen, dear subscribers in Nakama, this is where it gets really interesting. Because now we segue into the part of the video where it's less about your art supplies and more about your attitude when it comes to your art. Let me make another example I think most of you can relate to. 
You have bought yourself a couple of expensive pens or markers, or new expensive ink, new paper that your favorite artist may be using, and maybe even a pencil, and then, when you wanna start, it just doesn't work out. I hate to break it to you, but the problem isn't your supply, it's... you. <laughs> Having lots of pressure while sketching isn't always a nice thing. I even dare to say it's almost never a good thing, since sketching is about having a fun time, right? And I'ma let you in on a little secret, when you worry about wasting paper or ink, you're probably not having a very fun time! Why am I whispering? Man, this paper sure was expensive, I better not blow it, is a thought that can hinder you more than you might think. Since I'm using cheap paper to draw my initial sketch on, I don't even care about starting all over again, because I don't feel like I've wasted something. And if you happen to like your sketch, just copy it on the expensive paper. You can do that by using a lighting table like I did, or with the old school method by holding it against the window. There is objectively no disadvantage to drawing on cheap paper first. Absolutely none. Except maybe, like, having two extra minutes you need to count in for the copying part. I just want to quickly talk about sketchbooks as well. Since, you know, they even have the word sketch in the name. And I like sketchbooks, I have a couple of them laying around, but I don't really use them anymore, to be honest. It's the same thought from earlier. Man, I hope this is gonna look good, it's gonna stay in my sketchbook forever! If you're the kind of person that isn't worried about that, a sketchbook is absolutely a neat idea and I wanna encourage you to go ahead and buy one if you wanna try it out. I myself even started using a watercolor sketchbook since I wanna learn how to use watercolor. And this way you can see my art evolve page by page. So yeah, if you're still not sold on buying a sketchbook, just buy one with a ring binding. That way you can just tear off the paper if it's too much of an eyesore to you. After all, you have to decide for yourself what's best for you. My job here is to present you the options, but you have to make the decision. But now what about the actual sketching part? What I always notice is that lots of people like to just copy drawings, one by one. And just to be clear, you can sketch any way you want to, nobody can tell you otherwise. But if you do copy drawings one by one, just please make sure not to do it line by line. You won't get any experience or skill out of it. Try to use guidelines and practice proportions, because it's just a sketch after all, right? You can erase and try from the beginning as many times as you want. That's the beauty of sketching. Do not try to be perfect with your first time. That's nonsense. Nobody's gonna praise you for it later on. It's all about the end result, not about how long or how many tries it took to make it. Did you ever try to draw a circle with one attempt? Why not try to balance it more? It's not like you're being graded or judged by your first attempt. I think in general there's a misconception that you need to sketch as clean as possible in order for it to look good. That's so dumb! Don't be fooled by stuff like this, guidelines can help you to understand proportions better. And, like I said, you're not being graded by how clean you draw, it's your art, not a homework assignment, right? All that matters is that you're satisfied with the end result and that you had fun doing it. So it's kind of like making babies. Now that being said, if you're having fun while doing it, watch out that you're not being too rough. Uh, still talking about drawing, by the way. Not about making babies anymore. Ah uh, yeah, anyway, don't be too rough. I really mean it. Even when you're using a pencil that's even slightly hard, you're gonna scratch your paper. And you're gonna regret that when you're drawing a sketchbook, believe me. Just make sure not to focus your strength on the tip of the pencil. So, loosen your kung fu grip and hold your pencil a bit more towards the middle when you want light to result. In general, that's the most important thing of it all. Take it easy and be loose. I, I know, I know, that's easier said than done. But always think about that no one's gonna have to see the end result and you're not obligated to post it to social media or whatever. Just make sure you're practicing drawing regularly. Daily would be optimal. I know from my perspective that's kinda easy to say, but repetition pays off, believe me. Now I still got one last insider tip for you that loops back around to the beginning of this video. If you wanna improve as quickly as possible, don't use an eraser. Actually, if you really want it the tough way, you can even sketch with just a ballpoint pen. 
This is practically the pinnacle of unforgivingness, but even though it's the hardest way to sketch, it's the most rewarding one when it comes to experience. Professional artists draw without erasers all the time, so you can't go wrong by doing that. And again, it doesn't cost anything. So why not go ahead and give it a couple of tries? So this was my video about sketching, I hope you guys learned a thing or two and if you did, I'd be really appreciative if you guys would support me a bit. Either by liking the video or even subscribing, I mean it's free after all. So go ahead, join my crew, become a Nakama. Also I've got a lot more videos I wanna upload here but I don't know which ones, so if you guys would have any suggestions on what kind of video I should upload next, just go ahead and suggest one. Yeah. Also, uh, thanks on all of you who subscribe to my Patreon, I'm really appreciative of it, and yeah, that's kind of it. So, my name is Marcel, and I'll see you on the next video here on my channel, Draw Like So. Bye bye!